Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's channel. I'm testing the Alpha or 2 of Elite Dangerous. Um, following the forums in the last few days, people have been talking about a product called Voice Attack, which taps into Windows 7's voice capability. So, using this product, you can actually send com voice commands to our ship and control them, which is actually quite exciting. Um, I'm finding that um, there's a slight delay in those commands, which is a little bit of a shame, but there are some tweaks that you can make. Obviously, there is the need for the processing power to actually recognize the words and then put them into control into key presses. So there's always naturally going to be some delay. And my desktop is quite old and running quite a lot of software, including some VM websites right now. So it's a bit flaky. Also, this recording, the sound is a bit jittery and that's purely because the amount of um, recording and use of the microphone that's going on anyway let's see whether we can um, demonstrate what I've set up so I've just gone into the very first scenario of Elite Dangerous uh, which is all about just the radioactive um, canisters that need to be destroyed so what have I done to my ship well if I say right uh, left left I get to see all the canisters right right front right front so here you can see right from the start I can look around my ship or to the three panels that are uh, important to me um, I can max forward max forward I can stop, stop, and you need to be very clear with the instructions and um, that's the difference between me trying to record and give you some um, commentary versus the commands working. I've got half forward, half forward, stop, full reverse. Full reverse. Full reverse. And it helps with my uh, mouse. I've just gone out to the program to make sure it's sending the commands. Full reverse. Full reverse. Full reverse. <sighs> Max reverse. Stop. Max forward. Full reverse. Full reverse. Max reverse. Sorry, yeah, it's max, not full. That's the difference. Half reverse. Half reverse. Half forward. And the reason why I'm using half it there is, is because obviously that places this power directly in exactly the best optimum um, direction. So I can still use my keyboard to accelerate and slow down. But the idea is, is I can either go full or half to, uh, to, get, to maintain the speed I actually want to get to. So let's go up and look at a few other bits and pieces. Something that's not really useful at the moment, but we'll uh, show you anyway. Get nice and close to the asteroid. Stop. Light. Light. Not obviously close enough. Stop. Light. 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 As you can see in the background, it is just shining, it's not dark enough. So I need um, to be the, the wrong side of the, uh, the sun, as it were. Here we go, let's go and find some shadows. That's me being very, very stupid. Stop. 
Full reverse. Max reverse. Light. 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 So there you can see, you can, for short range, you can use your light. Lights on. Lights off. Light. Light. So as you can see, you can put words together so you can make a multiple phrase or single words. But if I use lights on and lights off, I have to configure th those commands. But if I just have light, 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 then they will come on. Scoop, scoop, and you'll hear in the background there's the scoop going on. Scoop, scoop, and then I've got the uh, where we've got the distribution of power, etc. We can say weapons. Weapons, weapons, engines, engines, shields, shields, balance, balance. So the idea is, is I can balance between the 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 systems parts of navigation that I want to do and the power distribution exactly in game without having to consider too much about which buttons I'm going to press next, which is actually really good because I have to. Um, the way I've got my keyboards configured at the moment, they're, they're the cursor keys which are away from my hand that deals with the, the power. So the idea is now is I've got the flexibility of being able to say voice commands whilst I'm actually doing keyboard commands. I've also set up the other couple of options now. The uh, version of voice attack that you can download only has the capability of configuring 20 um, commands, but you can configure more when she purchased it for eight dollars. I think it is. So well, I'm certainly going to be buying it. Um, but it only gives you the capability of configuring up to 18 commands. Now I don't actually see the point of any more than about 12, 15 anyway, for my purposes, purely because I still intend to use the keyboard because of the lag that voice has versus uh, keyboard. Um, but I'm pretty impressed with how it works. Um, I've configured the ability to shout out enemy and if there is an enemy ie one that's uh, gone red on the radar it will show you them and then once you've got them you can you can voice out sub and that will find their subsystem and it will scroll through on the uh, where it says Zelda on the uh, Zalada sorry on the left hand side by the world there it scrolls through the uh, subsystems of the enemy so you can actually target what they're going to be. So I'm going to come out of this scenario and I'm going to go to one of the multiplayer ones to see whether um, I've certainly played a couple of games so far and I've noticed that it does help me because it takes away some of the thinking. Um, 